Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, Ibrahim Mustafa Magu, says the commission has commenced investigation into the circumstances leading to the $8.9 billion arbitral award against Nigeria by a United Kingdom court over alleged breach of gas contract agreement between it and Process Industrial Development Limited. Mago, who described the process leading to the judgment as a daylight robbery, vowed that the commission will carry out forensic investigations on the transaction and bring anyone found wanting to justice. Martha Echi tells us more. The anti-corruption czar was speaking when he played host to a delegation from the Nigerian Diaspora Commission led by the chairman and chief executive, Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa, who was at the commission to seek collaboration with the EFCC towards effective combating of cyber crimes being committed by Nigerians in the diaspora. Dabiri Erewa decried the rate at which Nigerians, particularly the youth, get involved in all manners of fraudulent activities in foreign countries, stressing that more efforts should be geared towards the combating of the crimes. She said it is very embarrassing to know that out of 80 suspected fraudsters found, 70 are actually Nigerians, noting that the bad reputation of a few who commit these crimes are affecting the rest of the citizens. She urged the EFCC to tackle cyber crimes as effectively as it has been fighting the war against corruption. When things like this happen, they dent the image of the country. But however, that's not who we are as a people. You know, a few people commit crime, should not tarnish the image of a, a nation of 200 million people. So we keep emphasizing that we're not going to accept to be stereotyped. However, the world wants to see that we're doing something about cybercrime. And so we're here with EFCC to say, um, Nigerians in the diaspora count on you to tackle cybercrime as effectively as you're tackling corruption in Nigeria. So that, you know, those who um, uh, perpetrate these crimes are brought to book. And, you know, there are two legs. They have a leg here, they have a leg there. In his response, the acting chairman of EFCC, Ibrahim Magu, while expressing his disappointment at the rising rate at which Nigerians embrace cybercrimes at home and abroad, assured of his resolve to tackle the scourge of cybercrimes. While recalling the efforts of the EFCC in reading Nigeria of cybercrimes, Magu revealed that the commission partnered the FBI to fight cybercrimes in an exercise that was tagged Operation Wire Wire, where huge successes were recorded. He further disclosed that the EFCC recently commenced another operation against cybercrime tagged Operation Rewire and expressed confidence on the positive outcomes. In the era of uh, these four liners, Yahoo Yahoo boys, it's like it's coming back. I remember we worked with the, the American, the FBI, in Lagos, and uh, particularly in Lagos and environment. We carry out this operation uh, wire wire together. I think even the, the FBI they mentioned that we are one of the agencies that uh, actually participated in the operation. I think it was very successful. Uh, only to come out with the, these 77 Nigerians or alleged Nigerians uh, is, is very unfortunate. And uh, meanwhile, it's not like we are not doing any nothing here. We are working, we are, we are re-energizing, we, we go all out and storm all the, the hideout. And uh, we will also cooperate with our, our partners. Uh, last time we were in Ghana, and you realize that when the heat was so much here, they have all gone to Ghana. Most of them, they are now operating in Ghana and Benin and the northern countries. So we will cooperate with our neighbors also to check the menace of Yahoo Yahoo boys and the cyber crimes issue because it's a borderless crime. Um, you cannot do it alone. So I'm happy that uh, the Americans have also acknowledged our participation in the operations and we will continue to uh, participate. The EFCC boss decried the excesses of search Nigerians are usually subjected to in other countries, attributing it to the scourge of cyber crimes and other related fraudulent activities Nigerians are associated with in the international market. The two agencies agreed that the EFCC will set up special desk to deal with fraud cases peculiar to Nigerians in the diaspora. Magu expressed optimism that a measure will help build confidence and encourage inflow of foreign direct investments into Nigeria. 
Martha Eche reporting for The Eagle. Corruption is dishonesty and illegal behavior by people in positions of trust. A public office is a public trust. Do not abuse positions of trust for private gains. Stay away from corruption. Nigeria is a great nation and it is our responsibility to make the country greater. If you notice any act of corruption, please report to the EFCC via info at efccnigeria.org or call 09-904-4751 or 904 4752 You can also call 09-904-4753. This message is from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission.